You get me. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Larry L. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. And if you don't know me, I've been using FL Studio for about 15 or 16 years back in the day since FL Studio 4. That's what I first started out on. But today, um, I'm going to be working on a new DAW for the first time in a long time. I'm going to be making a beat from start to finish in Serato Studio. Shout out to Serato for sending this over. Um, if you want it for free, you can grab it down in my description below. With that being said, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you get me. We're on this main screen. When we open up Serato Studio, you can select a new beat and a new DJ edit. We're going to go with a new beat, but they have these templates down here, which is really dope. So um, let's just start off with a trap template. Uh, in the top right, we have our drum sequencer, sort of like FL. It's uh, really simple to use. They give you a bunch of drums. You got your tempo in the top left. It's at 120 in the key of your session, which is really cool with Serato because any sample you drop into Serato, it's gonna be in the key of your session. So you don't have to go and transpose it. That's a real good upside right there. We'll stick with the 120 BPM and let's go to F sharp minor. You can go through different drum kits over here in the bottom left. If you go to the Serato uh, library or drums, you can go into all drum one shots or all drum kits. If you wanted to drag a whole new drum kit in, you can just like scrub through these drum kits and just drag it right in here and it replaces all these sounds. If you have your own samples, loops, drum samples, one shots, all that stuff, you just go to file and then you find it in this uh, directory right here. I'm gonna replace that. Just drag it right on top. You just drag it right on top and replace that hi-hat too. Cool. And if you wanted a little cheat sheet, you can click this box up in the top right here where it says trap and just click that and it's going to create a pattern for you. Then you can change the size of that pattern. So we're going to go double the length for right now. I'm going to create my own because I switched around those samples and they won't land in the right spots. So I'm just going to create my own. And if you want a faster hi-hat fill, all you got to do is change the grid over here. And then you can go double time. And then if you want to go into a triplet, you just hit this number three. Let's take the double time off. Right, right there, maybe. And then that rim shot sounds a little weak, so we can just click on it over here, and you can turn up this gain. And if you wanted to turn down the velocity on these hats, which I think, like, this one right here, you just hold Control and then drag the mouse down. It'll turn down the velocity on those hits. I want an open hat. I'm gonna drag that in here. And then if we want to make that pattern double the length and switch things up on the second half, you just click this little plus button. Now you have two patterns basically in the same window right here. You can put it on repeat and then we can switch it up. We can make little changes in that pattern. Maybe do a triplet kick. You can also turn the levels down by just this little level on the left right here. As I'm saying, I'm new to this, so I'm, I'm figuring things out with you guys as we go. Add a clap. Let me try turning the pitch down a little bit on this key shift. Give it a little bit more thickness. So let's go through some samples. You can do it the same way. You can go through your own samples or you can go through Serato samples. They have a bunch of stock samples in here. Um, let's just give it a listen. You go to audio samples and then all Serato packs, 70s physics. Fire. <laughs> 
a uh, right underneath here you go to add sample and then we're just going to click and drag that sample right here where it says to you have these chops that it makes automatically for you i'm just going to punch them in trying to add a counter melody so we can add an instrument here that's kind of dope like a little pluck one shot let's drag that in i selected play and key so i'm not going to play any wrong notes that are out of key hit record all right now i gotta figure out how to add some effects i want to add some reverb some eq to these sounds and I don't know how to do that yet. So where do we drag it? Effects. Here we go. Here we go. Let's add a delay on this one. Decay, delay, double up. All right, in order to add an 808, I think we're gonna have to add a sample or an instrument. Add an instrument, because I think I want the keys to play in. So let's drag this here. There we go. Play in key, play in key. All right, all right, all right. Now we gotta do some, some structuring. So you can go to song view down in the bottom right and you see these little blocks here they're called scenes i believe so you can just have a bunch of these scenes in your whole song really and then you just paste the blocks down here and now you can take that and copy it there and then just like copy these scenes a bunch of times or whatever your maybe your verse right and then you have um maybe a pre-hook and then your hook that's pretty much like all you need to start out with so then in the intro what we're going to do is um maybe just take away some of the sounds because we have all these sounds like jumbled into one pattern basically so we're going to have to chop some of the sounds out of there maybe go to the drum section and clear them out of that and then take that bass and clear the bass out as well and that lead that we have clear that out All right, what I did was I took a symbol in here. You can go and you can add audio clips, which is dope. So this is like one of my favorite things to do, create transitions. So I just went through the file directory, found a symbol, reversed it. All you got to do is like click on the sample, reverse it over here in the top left. You can see right here. And then I just timed it in. I, uh, I took a little bit of high end off of it. I also threw this sound in. And I put that on the one, like for the drop when the verse drops in. So... For the pre-hook, the bass drops out, the drums drop out, that lead comes in, and then for the hook, it has everything. And I put that reverse symbol over there again as well. I'll be right back. Make sure you hit that link down in the description below to get Serato Studio for free. Try it out, guys. It's totally worth it. Fire, I had a lot of fun with it. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you get